So I'm not sure if you've heard, but if nothing is eating your garden, then it's not a part of the ecosystem. I'm out in the garden and it's a beautiful sunny day. It's breezy, it's warming up. And yeah, it's a wonderful day to be out here. Today I would like to talk about garden pests and how to alleviate the damage that happens from garden pests. Everyone struggles in the garden with different pests trying to eat their foods, whether it be aphids, slugs, leaf miners, other pests. Um, they can really do damage to the food that we're growing. I want to talk about how pests don't have to be a problem. They can be a part of your garden, but be controlled and the populations can a manageable level just by creating the right kind of ecosystem in your garden that attracts their natural predators. Slugs, you know, their natural predators may be snakes and beetles and birds. So what could you do to the garden to attract those uh, natural predators? Places that stay shaded and moist will attract slugs things like plastic containers or plastic wrap or different things that slugs can hide under but then also creating that ecosystem for their natural predators to arrive and have a yummy snack. Things like aphids can be controlled by ladybugs and ants and spiders. Aphids are also eaten by praying mantis and creating that ecosystem for nature is so important. So how do you create um, that ecosystem to, that attracts all these wonderful natural predators? So things like wild plants around the garden, there be dandelions and daisies, plantain, um, some long grass here and there, create hiding spaces for snakes and even uh, bushes and trees to create that space for birds to feel safe and secure to hang out in your garden. Keeping mulch in your garden can help beetles and ants and different creatures that you know can come by and eat any pests that are around. There's so many beneficial insects and animals for the garden. You know, not all animals and plants are pests and weeds. They, there's actually a lot of benefits to letting your garden be a little bit wild or around your garden be a little bit wild. And dedicating, you know, specific areas for that will help ensure that you are a part of the ecosystem, not separate from it, because once we start separating ourselves from our ecosystem, there starts to be problems, like infestations of one type of animal, um, whether it be aphids with no natural predator, or slugs with no natural predator. It's just good to have a balance and harmony in your garden where Everything's just coexisting, nature is happening, creatures are coming in for their lunch, other creatures might be nibbling your plants, but as long as it's not uh, excessive, then it's okay to have a little bit of leaf damage or a plant or two go to your natural environment and kind of be food for somebody else besides you. And that's just part of being in nature. Uh, we are not separate from it. We need to coexist and find balance. So we get so much wonderful food and appreciate all the benefits that come from the environment and what it can provide. I love beneficial insects and 
I love when birds come into the garden and take a peek, you know, whether they're eating a worm or a slug or, you know, whatever they're finding in the garden, it, it tells me that there's food there, that this is a place of abundance and life. And I love that my garden is full of life and it's not just barren uh, soil covered in plastic with plants coming out of it. There's just a lot of beneficial animals and insects that are, are really great for the garden and it always brings a smile to my face to see a ladybug on one of my plants in the garden or seeing snakes nearby. It's, it's really wonderful to you know, see butterflies and hear the birds, know that my garden is a part of the ecosystem and trying to keep that balance. It always inspires me to see wildlife and urban environments. So while living in cities and towns, to have more green spaces and more spaces available in general for wildlife makes me feel like People are in harmony with their environment rather than in disharmony and living in a human-centric environment where everything is benefiting humans and ourselves rather than benefiting the whole environment.